Hello and welcome to iOS 7. This is just a quick video on the new control center which has been added in iOS 7 to give us quick access to uh, settings toggles and that kind of thing in anywhere on the device. So to access control center we swipe up with one finger from the bottom of the screen or if you're a voiceover user like myself you put focus in the status bar and then swipe up on the screen with three fingers. So a notification center would be a swipe down with three fingers Control center is a swipe up with three fingers. Contacts. 2213. Status bar item. Control center. Bickering mode. Off. And there it is. And it takes up most of the screen, just overlays the screen. So along the top row, we have our settings toggles. Wi Fi. On. Bickering mode. Off. Wi Fi. On. Bluetooth. On. Do not disturb. Off. Log orientation. On. There are settings toggles, and as you can hear, they're very voiceover accessible. It tells you if it's on or off at the moment, and you just double tap to toggle on or off. Then we have brightness, 70%, adjustable. our brightness slider, and you swipe up or down like you would on any slider with voiceover. So swipe down, and it'll go down by 10%. 60%, 50%, 40%, 30%, 20%. 0 our off. music Zero settings. So what used to be in the app switcher, if you open to the app switcher in iOS 6 and slid across, you would get to the music settings. So that's in control center now. Previous track, play. Next track, volume. Airdrop, contacts only, button. And then after that we have airdrop. And this is just a setting for how visible you want to be for this new peer-to-peer -peer airdrop um, service. So AirDrop allows you to send a photo or a document or something like that to someone else with an iOS device. And if I double tap this, Alert. You can make yourself discoverable to everyone or only people in your contacts. So we've three settings. Off. Button. So you can turn AirDrop off altogether. Contacts only. Button. You can make yourself visible only to people who are in your contacts. Everyone. Button. Or you can make yourself visible to everybody. So anyone who um, looks in AirDrop and goes to share a file or a photo or whatever it may be will, who's uh, near you will be able to see you there so the default is contacts only and it's probably the best way to go contacts only button AirDrop contacts only button and after that we have our AirPlay button David Nesson's MacBook Pro button which I'm currently connected to my MacBook Pro via AirPlay, so that's why it says that. So that's how we uh, access if you want to get to your Apple TV or whatever it may be, um, and play a video to your Apple TV, that's where you would go to do it. Torch. Button. And then we have Torch, Clock. Button. Calculator. Camera. Button. Clock, Camera and Calculator. Um, just for easy access to those apps, and the Torch is just going to turn on your flash basically to use your device as a torch. There used to be plenty of apps in the app store that already did this but now you have it in control center. And there aren't too many settings with control center but I'll just go in into the settings app and show them. Settings. Settings. Notific do not disturb. Control center. Button. Control center. Settings. Back button. Access on lock screen. On. So you have access on lock screen, so whether or not you want Control Center to be available on your lock screen. Access within apps, on. And access within apps, and that allows you to choose whether or not you want Control Center to be available while you're, you've got an app open. So you might find that if you're playing games or something like that, that the Control Center gesture is conflicting with the gesture that you're using in that game, for example. So you might decide to turn off control center while an app is open and if you do that you'll still have access to control center on your home screen and lock screen so that's up to you if you decide that's useful to you or not and that's pretty much control center and how that works it's pretty simple it's a really useful tool i think yeah, it's very good that they've added it at this stage we've needed it for a while and uh, that's it thanks for watching